It's good that someone remembered that. Um, I think I think we're getting closer. I think January was probably a, a window we didn't anticipate to be as busy. Um, but with it turning out as busy as it was, it's, it's probably put the transformation of the squad further ahead than, than originally thought. So um, I think we're getting closer to it. I still believe we'll need certainly a couple, maybe three. Um, but I think now we're getting a lot closer to, to what we want it to look like in terms of you know the age profile, where we want the wage bill, the balance of the squad. Uh, I think there's probably only one glaring position where we're short, which is at right back, uh, and everyone knows about that. So. I think, yeah, we're getting a lot closer, but we're still certainly a couple away. Yeah, we do. So we've really focused our scouting in on, on certain leagues. Obviously, we'll always start at home uh, in the UK, you know, England and Scotland and Wales. Um, Germany, obviously, because of, you know, the, the links we've got there with uh, obviously Daniel and, and his staff and, and my previous workings in that country so there obviously will always be two pretty strong markets for us um, but no we are looking further afield we do work in Spain, France, Belgium, Holland um, and certainly come the summer we'll be signing players uh, from them regions I can confidently say. Angus Gunn, I mean, he's, he's done brilliant and um, I think you know we're all delighted with him. He's delighted with us, uh, Man City delighted with us and, and we were delighted that Man City gave us the opportunity to sign Angus. You know, we'd love to keep him longer, um, then talks will take place. At the moment, I think it's too early to say. I think if he's got the opportunity to go to a Premier League club or be in Man City squad, then Man City will do what's right for them and, and what's right for Angus, but uh, I'm sure if there was a loan and it was back into the Championship and we were in the Championship or we were in the Premier League, then I think we'd have a really good chance of getting him because you know we've done right by him. We, we took an opportunity on a player who'd never played a senior game uh, and that doesn't go unnoticed by the, the player and his family and also Man City. So um, you know we'll have to wait and see what happens with him. In terms of Madison, I think success out the window, as much as we were disappointed to lose Alex Pritchard, I think we did pretty well to keep hold of you know, our rest of our sort of young and up-and-coming sort of talents, of which obviously James is one. Um, I think James knows he's in a good place. He's, he's with a manager who's given him his opportunity and, and played him every week and, and given him the platform. And he's at a club who fully respect him and, and, and are giving him these opportunities. You know, he's become an England under 21 international since he's been with us. He's, you know, he's playing every week in the championship and getting, quite rightly, uh, high praise. The challenge for James now is because can he continue at the level he's at and, and grow further? Um, you know, we've seen lots of players have good six months over the years. It, it's can he do it uh, for longer than that? And you know, we'll certainly give him the platform. It, it's up to him whether he whether he takes that on. In terms of Moritz, again, I think it's great that people are excited about a signing because you know, halfway through the window, people were wanted to come here with pitchforks because we sold Alex Pritchard. Now people are talking about a new player in, in a really good light. Uh, I think we're fortunate to have Moritz here. I think he's come on record, his relationship with Daniel. Uh, we wouldn't have him if it wasn't for that. And um, so let's be grateful that we got Daniel so we could get Moritz. And is there a chance to keep him in the future? I think there's always a chance. There's no option. Um, his club wouldn't do it because I think they know he's too good a player just to, to make it easy for us. Um, but at the same time, he needs to perform well for us and we need to give him the opportunities and hopefully that will give us a chance to, to get him further in the future. Uh, but it's probably too early to sort of decide that fate yet. Oh, it, it's dropped a lot, um, a lot, but we've still got a fair way to go. Now, some of that becomes natural with people out of contract or selling players, you know, naturally it'll, it'll come south. You know, the player we signed today is a different to the player that we let go. So if you take Cameron Jerome going or, or um, Alex Pritchard, you know, the, the guys who replaced them to, you know, come on significantly different wages because they were signed, one was signed in the Premier League and, and one was signed as a new championship club with, you know, masses of uh, Premier League parachute payment, whereas now we don't have that um, available to us. So. It's getting closer to where it needs to be, but we still, you know, we still got a lot of work to do on that. And uh, you know, like we've always said, that'll be ongoing. And 
you know, it's not nice. Of course, it'd be great if we had endless money and we could do what we wanted and do a Wolves and go and sign players for 15 million and, and give them stupid salaries and win the league by 20 points. But we're not in that position. We've got to do it our way. And while, you know, at the end of the day, we're custodians for the club. So we've got to make sure at the end of this, the, the club's in a healthy and uh, better position than what we found it. Yeah, we did. We tried to recruit in that position. Uh, we had a, a major sort of target who chose to go to a club in the Champions League, so we're disappointed to have lost out on him. Um, but that's where it is. But then we had the decision to make, do we go and sign just any right back or do we wait for the right one? And we always truly believe that Harrison uh, can play at right back pretty comfortably. Uh, and I think the two games he's played there at um, Brentford and Middlesbrough at home, having probably showed everyone that he can do that. So for us then, it's about waiting for the right one because what we really didn't want to do in January when people are clamouring for signings is make a mistake now which costs us in six months and we look back and go, why did we sign him? Why did we do that? So you know, we made the call because Pinto's pretty robust. He plays most weeks and, and gets through it and you know, we truly believe that Harrison could do that. So it was, let's wait and get the right one rather than just getting anyone.